Hello everyone! Today we're going to make a note-taking program. It will have a title. Let's call it my title and a space for message. Let's write a big message with multiple lines. It will be able to save the message here. We can build a new one. We can fetch any message within our list by pressing the read button and we can delete some passage that we don't want. Let's get on to it. On our Visual Studio, let's create a new project, select Windows Form Application and give some name to it. Let's say Note Taking. We will be needing two labels for our project, one for the title and one for the message. And we'll also need two text boxes, one for the title, let's call it text title, and one for the messages. We want text box for the message to have multiple lines, so let's click on the arrow and on the multi-line, and now we can drag down to create more space. And this will be the text box for the message. We also want a data, data grid view to see our stored messages and we also want four buttons and we also want to change the name to be easy to access on our code let's call it button new button save button read and button delete for this project we will be using a data table to easily handle our date grid view, doing it manually will be very cumbersome. Let's start by creating a data table. Let's double click on our form and let's declare here outside everything a data table called table so it can easily be accessed on all our methods. Then inside our new method that will be run when the program starts, we want it to be instantiated and we want our table to have two columns. One called title and it will be a string and the other one called messages. Finally, we want our date grid view to be connected to our table. Now let's add some function to our buttons. The new button will clear the text. So text title will be cleared and text in the message box will also be cleared. When we click on the save button, we want to add a row to our table, which will have the text from our text boxes. It will have text title dot text and we'll have as message text message dot text. When we save we also want to clear the boxes. For our read button we want first to know which row it's selected. We want to know the index of the row And if this index greater than minus 1, if any row is selected, the index will be 0 or higher. We want the text box title to have the text that's in our table on the row with our index. And that it's stored in item array. And we want the first value, which will be the title, the string. And let's do this to the other text box, to the text message, and it will be stored in the second array. And finally, let's add some function to our delete button. It will also pick up the index of the selected row, and then we are going to take the row off the table. So table.rows on the index dot delete. It should work now. We can put any title here and any message. We can save it, we can read the message and we can also delete the message. 
it's working well, but I don't like the fact that we've got an extra column here, and we also don't need to see the message column here. I also don't like the idea of being able to edit the values here. So let's correct these issues. Let's start by selecting our data grid view on our design tab, and on appearance, row headers visible, let's set it to false to delete the first column, and on our behavior section, let's say we don't I don't want to add rows manually nor delete rows. I also don't want to resize columns or rows. And I also don't want to edit the values on the data grid field, so it's read only. And I also just want to see one column on our data grid view. So data grid view columns messages it's not visible and let's see how it goes just as I wanted except there's an extra gray area here that it's not very aesthetic so let's take it off First, let's look at the properties for, for this data grid field. In my case, I've got 145 width, so let's change the width of our columns. Data grid field dot columns title width. Let's say it's just 140. And let's give another look. And the gray area is gone. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.